the special, special, special prayer that is being offered unto you. Whatever the blessing you got from God, I touch you. Let it multiply. This is mental problem, depression in the family. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. I confirm the prophets to be true. And this is what has led me to drink and just to be. You're always anger. depressed. Yes, man of God. My name is uh, Tembo Isaac. Uh, I come from Zambia. Yes, I confirm the prophets uh, to be true. Uh, what has really caused my mental problem is um, something to do with my life. After graduation from 2012, I've never found any employment. I've married for four years. We don't have any children in my home. So it leaves me more to wonder about really what is happening in my life. And then coming to the other prophets which was given to say uh, there is a mental problem in the family. Yes, it is very, very much true. This confirms with the behavior that my family members portray, especially my nephews. The property issue, they said they cannot allow you to get anything. My name is Sarah Catherine Messia. I'm from Kenya. What the man of God said is true about the property issue. Beside me here, it's my dad. You can confirm the prophecy. My name is John Ongori from Kenya. The prophecy a man of God has given to my daughter is true. My grandfather gave me a land in my ancestral area. But they have been fighting for that land for so long. For my stepmothers, my father has got three wives. My father is there, is the first one. My mom is the first woman. There's a second. There's a third. So they have been fighting for that land, and it has got a very big tree. My grandfather left it there. They said I will not take that land. Maybe come rain, come shine. What the man of God, what he has, he has said is very true. We have been fighting for that land for so long. The vehicle you dreamt, it was not a good vehicle. It was like a van. A van. Yeah. This is death. It's, it's a because this is not time for your death. But the devil wanted you to die. Now we are fighting death. Dr. Patrick Ogalota, I'm uh, originally from Kenya and I'm staying uh, in Sweden. I had an accident with my vehicle, it's a van in the dream. And uh, this van, I, I drove it off the road, I landed into the ditch and uh, the frontal part of the vehicle was damaged. I told my wife about this dream, so I confirmed this uh, prophecy to be true. We are continuing to receive this special prayer of multiplication. Whatever blessing had stagnated in your life. Now take what I pray for you seriously. Thank you, my Savior. No matter the situation, whether sickness, Thank whether disease. You see the pit. Yes, all the time, Pastor. This is death. Death, go. My name is Paul. 
Paul Baraka. I came from Canada. I confirmed the prophecy to be true because I usually see death following me. And then also I could see sometime the pit they have dug that they are going to bury somebody. And usually when I see that dream, uh, I found that everything I'm doing is just collapse. So I confirmed the prophets from the man of God, Prophet Kakande, to be true. And I just want to, to thank God for saving me from the spirit of death. Spirit of depression. My name is Adebra Coyle from Kenya. And the prophecy that the man of God has given me about depression is true. I've had two relationships and the first man left me without a reason, leaving me depressed. And the second issue that's bringing me depression is that I, is about my career. I left public health to start a business, interior design business. And at the moment, my business, it's not doing well and it's just bringing me stress and depression. And thank you, Jesus, for revealing the prophecy. You people, you're losing a certain land. Yes. My name is Prophet David Shebani from South Africa. I confirm the prophecy to be true because me and my wife we are in the process of acquiring this agricultural land since August 2023. And the lawyers who are handling this issue, they keep on postponing. I should have signed already the document to take over as the new owner of this farm. I confirm the prophecy by the man of God that it's true. I thank God for this prophecy and for the prayer that I have acquired the land in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the gift of God, the love of God. The animals you see in the dream, yes. this yes. is too much for you. Yes, man of God. Under uh, that old man uh. monitoring the animals, this is witchcraft. My name is uh, Thomas Angel Maplanga. I'm coming from Zambia. What the man of God said, it's uh, true. Normally, once in a year, towards uh, my birthday, I normally have this dream where I dream a lot of animals, lions trying to fight me, and there is always like a captain trying to control those animals, but I, I can't see the person. He always holds the stick. And I always know that when this dream comes, that means my business is going to go down. What's up? You people, you have depression. <laughs> and this depression results into madness. My name is Jacobina Clemish from Germany, but I'm originally from Namibia. What man of God is saying is true. I have a spirit of depression. This is madness because the boy got mad. I confirm the prophecy to be true. That is the son of my late sister and uh, he is mad. He even attempted to kill me with a banger in 2021. He is really mad and I thank God uh, for, for delivering me and my family and Prophet Kakanda for locating us. Thank you, Jesus. Glory and honor back to Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the gift of God, the love of God. Just be ready to receive. Look at the man of God. Don't look down. The love of God. The invalid girls. My name is Martina Mangera from Migori County, Kenya. We have an invalid girl in our family who is crippled. The Shamba boy took advantage of her, impregnated her, and she left her. So even the family has abandoned that girl. So the prophecy that the man of God gave me, it is true. In Jesus' name. Go and come back no more. The undressing woman in the dream is terrible. You first saw a woman undressing. I confirm the prophecy to be true, man of God. So after that, you see the man coming to take you. Yes, man of God. You. They come 
they, it, it has happened a couple, a couple of times, more, more than 10 times whereby I sleep by the window. I even say to my husband, one day, can we please exchange? Because they come and they pull me up. <laughs> and we don't have children, my Lord. You don't have what? I don't have children. I've been married for eight years. But these are three kids. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Rise up. You say to Jesus, when I go to Prophet Kakanda, I'll tell him I want three kids. Yes, men of God. I'll ask him three kids. I was telling the lady that I'm sharing the room with yesterday, and I said, if God grant me the grace to speak to the men of God, I'll ask for three children. I've suffered many children. Thank you, Jesus. One. Thank you, Jesus. Two. <laughs> the boy. Clap for Jesus. My name is Lindy. We're from South Africa. I confirm the prophecy to be true. I've seen the woman twice in my dream. The first time I saw the woman coming to me naked as I was sleeping, and I got up. The second time I saw the naked woman in my dream on a different day, I was walking and the woman was following me and I got up. The second prophecy, the man of God says, there is a man or there are men that comes to pull me out, out of the house. I confirm the prophecy to be true. It has happened a couple of times. I can't actually remember how many times it happened, but the first time, I remember, I felt it physically to a point whereby I felt my hand being pulled out the window and I got up. The second or the third time, it was still in the dream where I felt two men um, pulling me out the window. And the third time, I even say to my husband, is it possible to exchange uh, positions? Because where we sleep, I sleep right next to the window. And all these dreams, they felt so physically. I thank God for the prophecy. The man of God prophesied that I'll have three children and the third one will be a boy. I thank God for my deliverance. And I thank God for using Prophet uh, Samuel Kakande as a vessel for my deliverance. Thank you. You see a man leading you somewhere you don't know, and you say, oh God. Yeah, I if always you are not see my it, husband. Remove the ring my husband gave me, and he was giving me his own. No, no, this is bad. This is demon. My name is Kate from South Africa. I would like to confirm the prophecy to be true. I have seen a man in my dream. He came and said he want to marry me. And I refuse him, say that I have already married and I love my husband, I cannot marry him. Then he locked me to a big house where I don't even know. Thank you, you are, Jesus. You are so. free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the gift of God, the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. This is the gift of God. All this is not an issue, it is the land going to the valley that is what is killing you people, making you to run mad, whatever, whatever, because they, they want it. Thank you, man of God. I can confirm uh, from my village, almost every two years someone dies. Because of the land. Yeah, there's a land. <clears throat> and you see yourself in a meeting as if it is a court. I will give you yeah. anointing oil to go and pour upon the stone. In that land, there is a particular stone. Amen. <clears throat> My name is Kondwani Pili from Malawi. I would like to confirm about the prophecy. This land, there, there has been problem for so many years. It has started happening when I was young, but I didn't know. Uh, because of that, many people have been dying mysteriously. It all happened because one of my my relative wants to own the land. Up to now, as we are talking, he is organizing fight of the land and he wants to grab every land. I can also confirm about 
uh, seeing myself in a dream in a meeting. When I dream that, it means that's the end of my intelligence wisdom. Because normally, I'm a very bright, bright person. But once I dream something like that, it means I'll be forgetting everything. I thank Jesus Christ and indeed, God is working here. Thank you so much. The old man, Ren Mart. This is madness. Even depression. My name is Jume Manyoso from Malawi. There was this great grandfather who ran mad those years back. And now the depression is still following our family. I thank God for delivering me and our family. Whatever the chains of stagnation are being broken. It is not too late. You build a school. Amen. This is the land of the school. You have already started building the school. Amen. I receive. This was your dream, at least to do something for the people. Thank you, Jesus. Go and build the school. Amen. My name is Love Mogonyora from Harare, Zimbabwe. What the man of God said is true. It is actually a confirmation of uh, a vision that I had some years back, way back in 2007, thereabout where I saw myself acquiring uh, a large piece of land and putting up a missionary school. Um, ever since then, I've always had this, uh, this age, this a heart to, to help a community by building uh, a school. Thank you, Jesus. I receive uh, this land, and I know I'm building the school. Thank you, Jesus. The pit. You dream that you are the pit. My name is Asuzio Montali from Zambia. I can confirm that I dreamt them uh, falling into a pit, a dark pit. It was dark. Ever since I dreamt that dream, I've been having stagnation like uh, my daughter's getting sick, my wife and I myself. Uh, I've tried to apply for jobs, but to no avail up to now. It is now been. over. Thank you, Jesus, for locating me and answering me. Depression. But people cannot find out that you are depressed because you try to keep it. Say, so how will people know that I'm like this? Oh no, God, no, no, no. I can confirm this man of God. It's very true. I'm always stressed. You sit down like a day. Sometimes you fail even to watch the television. Amen. It is very true, man of God. I can confirm this. And after that, you dream. Within a small minute that you are at a place what you don't see there is never there the skeleton, amen the skeleton is the whatever the bones it's the very skeleton. true man of god. god i will even dream speaking in and my husband will be telling me that i was speaking crying in the dream They wanted you to die of accident. Amen. I always fear cars. I always fear that I'll die. Of accident. Yes, please. And I always fear that even my brothers will die out of accidents. It is all over. Amen. Go and live for 85. 85 is enough for you. Special power of multiplication is what you're receiving right now. Multiplication of your blessing, as was intended from the beginning. It was a big land with a forest. Yes. That is what devastated the whole family. This one is saying this, another one is saying that. This one is doing this, this one is doing that. 
You don't know. My name is Paul Twitter. I'm originally from Liberia, but I live in the U.S. I just want to confirm what the prophet says regarding my land in Liberia. It's true. I bought this land and I tried to bid on the land, but the contractor and my son, when I gave them the money, they would just eat the money and play a whole lot of games. So I a little bit got frustrated and I haven't been bidding on it. So it's kind of bush. So just to confirm what the prophecy is true. Thank you. The stomach issue, it's like cancer. My name is Tata Onelinga from Botswana. I would like to confirm the prophecy by a man of God just now about my stomach issues. That is like cancer-like. Um, I normally have uh, stomach issues like cramps, uh, uh, pains and sometimes digestive issues, constipation and all that. Before the, pro the prophet prayed for me, I had cramps and bloating. After he prayed for me, it's gone. I'm healed. I thank Jesus Christ that I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. This is mental, mental problem. When people get mental, they become confused, they want to kill others. My name is Manapelo Badwedi. I'm from Botswana. I would like to confirm that is true. My brother has a mental problem, and the two of my, the son of my, my brother, two of them, they have got a mental problem. And also me, sometimes I get confused due to the depression. So what men of God said about me is 100% correct. I thank Jesus for delivering me.